What's up guys, it's Shivane and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that your camera automatically shuts off or dies after 30 or 40 minutes when you're doing a video call or using the camera app. So this is a viewer's request and if you guys encounter any software related problems then just comment down below or email us and we'll make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. So the first thing that I'll recommend that you guys do is update your windows to the latest version that you have. So just go to windows search and then search for windows update settings and then in windows update settings check for any updates that might be available and if you have it then just update your windows and check whether that fixes your problem. The next step is disabling your antivirus system because that might cause this issue as well. So just temporarily disable your antivirus system and check whether it fixes your problem or not. Now let's move on to the more specific solutions to this problem. So the first thing you have to do is go to device manager and you can do that by going to windows search and then searching for device manager. Once you're in device manager, just go to the camera section and in camera, just select your camera and then right click on it and then click on uninstall device. Then if you get this warning pop up to delete the driver software for this device, make sure that you check it. So check delete the driver software for this device and then click on uninstall. After you do this, just go to the action tab and then click on scan for hardware changes. And that should bring back your camera to the device managers list. If it doesn't, don't worry, just restart your PC and it will appear back in your device manager. Then check whether this fixed your problem or not. If it did not fix your problem, again go to your camera but this time when you right click on it, go to update driver and then search automatically for updated driver software. Then once the process finishes, just restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed. If it is still not fixed, then again right click on it and then click on update driver. But this time go to browse my computer for driver software. And then let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Then make sure that you check show compatible hardware. And then just install the first model in the model list that you see. Then click on next to install it. After that restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed by this. Now the next step to solving this issue is using the registry editor. So just go to your windows search and then search for run. In run type in regigate and once you open up your registry editor, just navigate to HK local machine, then software, then Microsoft and then windows media foundation and then platform. In platform in the empty space, just right click on it and then select add a new D word and then select the 32 bit value. After that, just rename it to enable frame server mode and then double click on it and then change its value to zero. Now, if you're on a Windows 64 bit version, you have to do one additional step to this. And if you do not know which Windows version you're on, just go to your Windows search and then go to control panel. In control panel, go to system and security and then system. In system, you'll find your operating system so if it is 64 bit, then you have to do this additional step. And if it is 32 bit, you can just skip this. So again, in your registry editor, just navigate to HK local machine, then software, then wow 6432 node, and then Microsoft, and then Windows Media Foundation, and then platform. And then again, right click on the empty space, add a new D word 32 bit value. And then just rename it to enable frame server mode and then set its value to zero. After you do this, just restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed. Additionally, if this did not work for you, what you can do is you can just turn the value to one instead of zero in both of the cases. And then just restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. The last two solutions that I can offer you in order to fix this issue is first changing your power options. So just go to your windows search and then search for control panel. Then in control panel, go to hardware and sound and then power options. In power options, click on change plan settings and then change advanced power settings. Once you're there, just go to USB settings and then USB selective suspend setting. 
and you will have on battery and plugged in enabled. If you have both of them enabled then just disable them and if you have them disabled just enable them. And after you do this just go to PCI Express and then link state power management and then do the same thing for on battery and plugged in. So if you have maximum power savings for default value then just turn it to off and if you had it at off then just turn it to maximum power savings. Then just click on apply, restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. The last solution that I can offer you guys here is using command prompt commands to fix this issue. So just go to your windows search and then search for command prompt. Then right click on it and then click on run as an administrator. After you run the command prompt as an administrator, just type in the following commands. I'll link these commands down in the description below for you to check out. The first one is the ISM commands. So check health, scan health and restore health and then sfc space slash scan now. So just run these commands in this order and what these commands do is that they scan your PC for any corrupted or missing files and then automatically download them for you. So this is very useful if you have any problems in your Windows PC. And after these commands run, just restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed. So this was it for this video guys, I hope you liked it and if this video did not solve your problem, just write it down in the comment section or email us your detailed problem and we can make a solution video on that as well. And if it did help you then just like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content and also comment down which solution actually helped you solve this issue. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.